Animating text like this can be challenging, but this tutorial will help you how to do that. So we are going to create this kinetic typography animation in After Effects. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so here we are in After Effects and let's begin by creating a new composition. I'm going to call this one main width and height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration you can make whatever you want. Just click on OK. Here we have our composition. Now let's create a background. So right click new, let's add a solid and I'm going to like make it a little bit off white. Something like that. Let's click on OK. Now I'm going to like lock this layer so that we don't accidentally move it. Perfect. Now we are ready to add our text. So first we can select the text tool. Just click and you can type your first text. I'm going to type animating text. Now we are going to like align it to the center. Now we are going to use the align panel. If you're not able to see it, then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. Also, let's make it anchor point in the center. So you can select the layer, hold on the control key, double click on this. Now it's in the center. Now I'm using this Montserrat black font, but again, it's completely up to you. You can use whatever font you want. So first we will like simply animate it like to come from down so for that we can go to here and let's animate the position now we can like move it down below something like that now we can open up the range selector and if we go under the advanced we are going to like first change this to words because we want to like animate individual words and after that instead of percentage i'm going to like animate it through indices so here we have this so if i type like one you can see that one word will go up if I type two, then both of these two words will go up. So we can like animate it from one to zero to two. So let's add a keyframe and let's go like a little bit ahead. Now I'm going to type two. So here we have this. Now, if you are animating the text on sound, then you have to like play it according to the sound. So where we have the animating coming up, you will have to like place it over there. And when you will have text coming up, then you will have to do it there. But right now I'm not using any sound. So I'm going to like just do it anyways. So here we have this. I'm going to like easy ease them and we can play around with the ease high and ease low. So let's increase this to 100. Now you will see that it will snap. And if I set this to like zero and increase the ease low, then you will see that it will end slowly. Again, it's completely up to you, you can like move these keyframes. So let's just keep it over there. Perfect. Now we don't want this text to be visible in the beginning. So for that, we can like select the shape tool and let's just draw a shape like that. Now I'm going to like remove the stroke and let's just enable the fill. Just set it to whatever color you want. Let's place it a little bit down below. And now I'm going to like change its track mat. So let's select this. Now, if I'm using the older version, then you won't have this pick whip or these layer drop down. Instead, you will have like track mat alpha mat. So just play around with that. Now here we have our text. Now it is like we have to change the track mat to invert. So by just clicking on this icon again, if you're not able to see this, then you can like click over here like this. So here we have our first animation. Now we can like add more text. So let's just simply select the text tool. Now I'm going to like type like and let's just change its color. And just like the example, I'm going to like change it to a little bit this green sort of. Again, you can play around with the font, whatever you want. You can like make it a little bit lighter. So you can change the font as well. I'm going to like make it bold. Let's just place it over here. Now we can have little arrow over here as well. So for that, we can select the pen tool. Now just draw an arrow simply by clicking like this. Now we don't need fill. So I'm going to like click on fill, set this to none just enable the stroke so here we have our arrow let's animate them by simply pressing s let's add keyframe for scale in the beginning we can like set them to zero let's press p for position let's add keyframe press u now i'm going to like move these keyframes a little bit ahead so in the beginning i'm going to like move both of these like little bit down now we can select the keyframes press f9 let's go to the graph editor if your graph looks different make sure you're using the speed graph not the value graph Let's change it like that. So here we have our animation. We can make them like really close so that this comes up very fast. Now we can like play around with their timing. So we have this text coming in and somewhere around here we can have like this coming up, maybe like a little bit around here. 
like that perfect so here we have this now we are ready to add like more text but we want them to be like onto this side so for that we can animate the whole text like all of these layers but first let's add the text so before we continue if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon make sure to check it out link for that is in the description now let's continue let's type our next text so i'm going to like type this and let's just change it to this color which we have over here and again i'm going to set this to black now i'm going to like increase its scale quite a bit like that now we are going to like play around with its anchor point so i want this to like scale from this point like somewhere around here so for that we can select the pan anchor tool let's move the anchor point we can hold on the control key to like snap it onto this region now let's just place it somewhere around here Perfect. We can again have a little bit of scaling animation. So let's add a keyframe. Let's move this ahead. Let's select uh, and let's add it to zero. Now we can press F9 to change the keyframe. Now let's select this and let's just change the graph to look like that. Let's go back. Now if I press play, you can see we have this text coming up. Again, we can play around with its timing. Let's move it a little bit like around here. Perfect. Now we want this text to be visible as well. So for that, we can add a null object, right click, let's add a null object. Now I'm going to like parent all of these layers to the null object. Again, if you're not able to see the parent menu, then you can go to columns and from here you can enable it. Now we are ready to animate this out. So let's select this and let's add a keyframe. So somewhere around here, we can have like P for position. Let's add a keyframe. Let's go to somewhere around here. Let's add a keyframe for scale as well. Let's add it. Let's press U. Now at this point, we can like little bit like zoom it out and like make it a little bit smaller. And let's just place it to somewhere around here where this looks like in the middle. Perfect. So here we have our first text. Now somewhere around here, we can have like a little bit of more animation to just to place it like that. Now we can select all of these keyframes, press F9. Let's go to the graph editor. Now I'm going to like change the graph to look like this. Let's make it to this point and let's just change the keyframes like that. So now if I press play, you can see we have this and as this text is like scaling up, we have this null moving and we have this text animation. Perfect. Now in the same way, we can add like more text as well. So let's just keep on doing this. Let's zoom out. Now we are going to like select this, press Ctrl D to duplicate this. Now I'm going to like change this text and let's type can C A N. Now we can like place it somewhere around here to this point. Again, we have to move its anchor point. Let's select the move anchor point and let's just place it over here. Now I'm going to like move it a little bit ahead. So we have this. So we have this coming up and after that we will have can like that again we will have to like play around with this so let's just have a keyframe somewhere select so this press u somewhere around here again we can like scale this down a little bit and just move it to this side and let's move it to the top as well like that let's select the keyframe let's go to the curves and we are going to like change it to the same curve so just make the make these endpoints like this so that we have this coming up like that we can probably like make it around here perfect now once you have this again we can like keep on adding let's press ctrl d let's type b e now just keep on moving these text here and there let's place it over here Let's move its anchor point to like appear it from this side. So let's move it over here so that it will scale from this side. Now again, let's press U somewhere around here. We can like make it a little bit more smaller. And let's just move it to the top. Perfect. I think this looks good. Let's move it like a little bit to this side. Again, just keep on changing the easing as well. So let's make it to this one and let's just keep it like that perfect so if i play you can see we have these text coming up and just like this you can like keep on going and keep on adding the text so after that we can have the other text so here we have challenging let's select this press u 
and this one we can like make it appear somewhere around here let's just keep the anchor point in the middle and let's just place it over here now we already have the animation all we have to do is just like animate these out so let's select this and let's just make it smaller and just place it to somewhere you think that it looks good so yeah i think this looks good let's go to the graph and just remember to change the graph to this exact look so that all of these texts are moving like very quickly so let's see what we have created so we have our text coming in like that now in the same way you are like scaling down we can have like some zooming in animation as well so if i like let's type our next text and let's just type but and uh, you can probably change its color so let's pick this green and i'm going to like let's press u and let's just make it like really small so i'm going to like make it like that and let's move the anchor point to this side and i'm going to like place this like right next to this g perfect now we can have the animation as well so over here we can like zoom in instead of zooming out let's just go to this text place this part in the middle like that now let's go to the graph select both of these and just change it like that like this so here you can see we have this text coming up now after this you can like keep on continuing and adding text just like this and just remember to like animate the null object according to the scene and just keep on having them like moving here and there again remember to like match these to the whatever text or the voice you have so that these are animating according to them so i hope learn something from this video and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one